Israeli fighter jets struck 450 Hamas targets in Gaza and troops seized a militant compound in the past 24 hours the Israel defense forces said on Monday while the Palestinian enclave's health ministry said the air strikes killed dozens of people a Reuters journalist in the Gaza Strip described the overnight bombardment from the air ground and sea as one of the most intense since Israel launched its offensive in response to surprise attack by Hamas on southern Israel on October 7th Israel which says its forces have encircled Gaza cities faces mounting pressure to avoid civilian casualties after refusing to countenance a ceasefire until the hostages are released and a US diplomatic blitz in the region is intended to reduce risk of the conflict escalating The heads of several major United Nations bodies on Monday made a united call for a humanitarian ceasefire in Gaza The 18 signatories include Volker Turk, UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, Tedros, the head of the World Health Organization, and Martin Griffiths, UN Aid Chief. In a joint statement, they said, "An entire population is besieged and under attack, denied access to the essentials for survival, bombed in their homes, shelters, hospitals, and places of worship. This is unacceptable." We need an immediate humanitarian ceasefire. It's been 30 days. Enough is enough. This must stop now. As well, the G7 group of countries including Canada are set to meet midweek in Tokyo this week to discuss the war which several global powers have warned could spiral and engulf the Middle East. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has ruled out a ceasefire until the return of over 200 hostages captured by Hamas. The group founded in 1987 and designated a terrorist group by Israel, the US, Canada and the European Union. Israel said 31 soldiers have been killed since it began expanded ground operations in Gaza on October 27th. Canadians trapped in the Gaza Strip who were previously told they could be allowed out over the weekend will have to wait longer to escape the besieged Palestinian territory. The General Authority for Border Crossings in Gaza says the Rafah border crossing into Egypt reopened on Monday to allow foreigners whose names were on approval list to exit the Gaza Strip after the border crossing closed over the weekend amid escalating attacks from Israel. Approved evacuation list from the General Authority for Border Crossings in Gaza as presented on a widely shared Google spreadsheet have not included names of Canadians as of Monday morning. The crossing is the only exit point for foreign nationals who wish to leave the Palestinian territory which has been under constant bombardment since the Israeli army launched retaliatory attacks for the brutal October 7 incursion by Hamas. Global Affairs says the Israeli military has assured Canada that more than 400 of its citizens will be able to cross in the coming days and added that three have already escaped with a third party though they offered no further details. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said he thanked Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi on Sunday for supporting the departure of foreign nationals from Gaza including Canadians and their families. One woman whose father is trapped in Gaza says she was informed by Global Affairs that citizens, permanent residents and their family members were now tentatively scheduled to start leaving Gaza Strip as early as Tuesday. The general manager of all hospitals in Gaza said the roof of a building at Al Shifa Hospital, Gaza's largest, was damaged by an Israeli strike resulting in deaths and injuries. Mohammed Zaud said that the strike killed displaced people who were sheltering on the top floor. Solar panels that were installed on the roof were destroyed in the attack. Meanwhile, a senior Hamas official on Monday denied Israeli charges that the militant group has located missiles and rocket launchers near a hospital in the Gaza Strip. Osama Hamdan told reporters in Beirut that Israel is trying to destroy the medical sector in Gaza to force Palestinians out of their land. Hamdan also denied Israeli military statements that the group has a tunnel near a hospital in Gaza. Saying a hole shown in a photo presented by the Israeli military spokesperson is used for storing fuel. Hamdan urged the UN to send an international committee to visit hospitals to confirm they are not being used by Hamas for military activities. South Africa's government has recalled its ambassador and diplomatic mission to Israel on Monday in condemnation of the bombardment of the Gaza Strip, calling it a genocide. The government also threatened action against the Israeli ambassador to South Africa over his recent remarks about the African country's stance on the Israel-Hamas war. No further details were given about the remarks.
US Secretary of State Antony Blinken wrapped up a grueling Middle East diplomatic tour in Turkey after only limited success in forging a regional consensus on how to ease civilian suffering in Gaza as Israel intensifies its war against Hamas. Blinken on Monday met in Ankara with Turkish Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan after a weekend of travel that took him from Israel to Jordan, the West Bank, Cyprus and Iraq to build support. For the Biden administration's proposal for humanitarian pauses in Israel's relentless military campaign in Gaza. However, Israel has rejected the pauses proposal outright, while Arab and Muslim nations are instead demanding an immediate ceasefire as the Palestinian casualty toll source from Israel bombardments of Gaza in response to Hamas's attack. The health ministry in Hamas rule Gaza says the Palestinian death toll from the ongoing war with Israel has jumped over 10,000. The figures released Monday mark a grim milestone in what has quickly become the deadliest round of fighting since Israel's establishment 75 years ago. The war erupted on October 7 when Hamas militants stormed into Israel from Gaza and killed over 1,400 people and took some 240 over hostages in a rampage that Israel described as the deadliest attack on Jews since the Holocaust. Israel responded with a campaign of blistering airstrikes followed by a ground invasion. The health ministry said 292 people were killed in Gaza on Sunday, raising the death toll to 10,022, without distinguishing between fighters and civilians. The vast majority of the dead are believed to have been killed in Israeli airstrikes, though Israel says over 500 Iran rockets launched by Palestinian militants have landed inside Gaza.